Jeff is here to talk about uh, the forecast today. It's got a lot of nines in the wrong space. <laughs> yeah, well, this is the last day that's going to start with a nine for now. Okay. Now, we do have a little cool down, then we're going to warm back up next week, but we do have a little cool down. It's been so hot and muggy, so when you have that, you got a lot of energy. When you got that heat and humidity in the atmosphere, we're going to talk about science for a second. Uh, and uh, yeah, you got a lot of heat and humidity out there. So basically, there's a lot of energy in the atmosphere. And we have a cold front coming through here later, which will spark off some stronger storms. Low tornado risk. There's actually a better chance for a little bit of that larger hail out in the far east. A little better chance, too, for some strong winds. And again, we could see a little of that here in Columbus, but I do think there's a better chance as you move to the east uh, and really the north and southeast of the city. We have a little better chance for that as we get on through the afternoon into the evening hours. And the reason for that is because of this feature right here. This is a cold front. Not all that vigorous right now. Uh, you can see it kind of breaks up a little bit. We'll have the threat for some showers and storms later on today. It looks like in the early to mid-afternoon time frame. We're going to watch that line track through here. Right now, though, just dealing with a nice start to the day. We've got a couple of high clouds out there. Just warm, kind of sticky, kind of muggy out there. Hour by hour forecast. We're up to about 80 degrees by the time we hit to 8 o'clock. 83 at 9. Lunchtime, we're pushing 90. Not quite there, but getting close to it. And we are going to be looking at heat index values into the 90s by lunchtime. We'll see a high topping out at 93 today. High Hot and muggy. Heat index values are going to be closer to around 100 to 105, not 105 to 110 plus, but still dangerously hot out there with a few late day storms possible. And again, those are coming with a cold front. And again, those dew points are still really high. That's just a measure of how much moisture you have out there. I've been saying in the past couple of days, the higher the dew point, the more uncomfortable it is. And it's one of those things where you step outside, you're kind of going to get that insta sweat when you step out there because it is very hot and muggy. And that's why we have heat advisories in effect across the area. These are in effect through the afternoon afternoon into the evening hours. So things are going to start to improve once we get past today, but still upcoming highs 93 today, 86 tomorrow, a big cool down 75 as we get into the weekend. We'll be talking about highs in the 70s, so I'll give it a yellow light. We've actually had the red light the past couple of days for the lawn mowing because of the air quality alerts. Don't have that today, but still yellow light because it's going to be hot and muggy. If you can put it off till tomorrow or Saturday, probably not a bad idea to get that lawn motor, get those outdoor projects done. Another scorcher out there today. Late day storms are going to be possible. We're going to turn a lot cooler as we head through the weekend. 83 degrees at 9 lunchtime. It's going to be hot near 90. We top out at right around 93 and you can see some showers. Some storms are possible as we get on into the afternoon, but those roll through here pretty quickly. Uh, not everybody's getting the rain, but still we'll have to watch out for a line of showers and storms in the early to mid afternoon time frame. 71, a steamy one out there tonight. Still warm and muggy back to 86. Not as hot, partly cloudy into the afternoon to sunny into the afternoon tomorrow. Here's what it looks like hour by hour today. You can see we start out dry. Lunchtime still dry. Look at this. We get on into the afternoon, 3, 4 o'clock. We start to track the chance for showers and storms. Notice a little better chance along north of I-70. Doesn't mean you won't get anything in the south. It's just that's kind of how things are tracking right now. But keep in mind, in that early to mid-afternoon time frame, we'll have a little window for some rain. But it's going to be kind of just like a line of rain that comes through here. Once that gets out of here, things start to improve. And out in the far east, we could see that larger hail and some strong winds. And then we'll get some sunshine tomorrow. And we'll actually be a little bit cooler. So 93 today, that heat wave continues. 86 tomorrow, we're breaking the heat. I'm happy to say that even better on Saturday and Sunday. Looks great on Saturday, great on Father's Day, mid to upper 70s, 87 degrees on Monday. We're going to start warming back up. The first day of summer gets here on Tuesday and Mother Nature, well, is not going to miss a beat. We're looking at uh, temperatures back into the 90s, potentially our next heat wave as we get on through next week. We'll have the chance for some showers and storms on Wednesday, but it's going to be hot. And even when we cool off a little bit as we head on towards the end of the 10 day, we're going to be talking about uh, temperatures that are right around, well, a little bit above average, the upper 80s, Clay.